Hi guys, this is Rebecca with Our Games, and we are back in The Sims 4 doing my Jacobson Family Legacy <laughs> uh, series, I guess you would call it. Um, I'm still not 100% sure exactly what I'm going to call it, but that's what I'll go with for now. Um, we are back in there today. We have joined Haley and Paka back in their house. And I was catching myself up again with what happened exactly last time. Because it's been a little bit since I played. But, um... Haley is saying she has not had enough exercise because she is a... Uh, she is an active sim. So, I'm gonna have her go for a nice jog real quick. Um... And I know also we had Paka go to the doctor last time because he was having some issues he needed to check on and we found out a couple things that were a problem. He had a UTI that he was diagnosed with and then and then a um, WTD as well, um, which Haley is thankfully free of, but it is something that we can't fix with Paka, it's just something he has now to we'll deal with. But, um, for this part, I think I'm going to try to focus more on their relationship and see if these two will be more of a long-term relationship, like if that would work for them, or if that will not particularly work for them, and kind of see how they're gonna go about, uh, their future, basically. I know Haley hates the fact that she has a job being a freegan. Um, she feels like a sellout for having a, an actual, like, job she has to go in for and work she's supposed to be doing. And right now she's in the criminal career, which I don't see her as doing, like, long-term anyway. But um, it seemed to fit with what she wanted at the time. And then I reminded myself, Paka uh, doesn't have a job either right now. So at the moment, she's the only one in this household making money. <laughs> and um, that could be an issue. Because honestly, I don't feel like she's going to keep in this job for very long. I think she's going to kind of get sick of it and she's just going to quit. So that could put a little bit of a strain on these guys. Uh... Also, her dumpster diving ways are not totally, like, in the past. So she is going to be doing more of that in this episode. Because she lives in a new place now. She moved into his house. So it probably feels to her like, you know, I live here, sure. But is this my place too? Because it looks like just his place. So I think when she goes dumpster diving, she's going to bring home all her finds, you know, and start putting some replacements in and be like, well, this is my stuff for our house, right? This is both of our places. And, you know, he pranks toilets all the time, which explode all over her. And we'll just have to see how well they can get along with each other. See if it can work long term or if there might be some tr issue with their relationship being a permanent one. And since he's the popularity sim who wants to be the friend of the world, he doesn't really have any whims to get a job right now. And I'm trying to kind of let their whims tell me what they want to do for a lot of it. To kind of give me direction down a path for them. I'm not trying to micromanage everything, oh, you know, that they're right, doing. Cool. Um, so if I see ambition from him to want to start a job, then we will get him one. But until then, I don't think he's too interested in that. How are you living in this house by yourself without a job? Oh no, we quit your job because you were a babysitter. And it wasn't working or something like that. You had one of those part-time jobs, but it never actually had you go into work. So yeah, we quit your job for that. But you still don't have any whim of wanting to actually get a career. So, until that kind of happens, I don't think I'm going to worry about it right now. 
crisis. Half the crew wants to wear ski masks. The next highest half want clown masks. The thug fest fashion off has come to blows. As ringleader, could Haley get Haley? Should Haley get involved? Wow, I can't read. And pick a side or step aside and stay neutral. I think she should get involved. Hmm. Haley freaks out and tries to settle the debate with a dance battle, which goes exactly as badly as one might think. The thugs. Ah. Scariest part is the thugs who actually try to dance for their side. Nothing is settled. Ah. Well, that didn't help her, did it? Uh -huh. She's still doing excellent, but I don't think she enjoys what she's doing. Okay, she got promoted. Wow. Alright, well she's going up to bed. She's uncomfortable because she feels like a sellout. But she is happy that she got a promotion. Why don't you actually sleep? Why does Sims always just freaking nap? Like, go to sleep. Alright, your UTI. Here, go use your toilet that you pranked. See how fun that is. Oh, no. I mean, that was all you, bud. And I think since he pranked it and he got the prank this time, he's gonna actually fix the toilet instead of making her do it. And he's immediately doing it again. <sighs> wow. Even though he's the one that got the prank last time. <laughs> she looks so sad. Um... Yeah, talking he's like, hey, why, what's wrong? Why do you feel so uncomfortable? Slash sad. What's wrong? She's like, I just don't like my job. I just feel like it's not me. It's like, I'm not that person to have a steady job, and I don't like it. Yeah, she's like, I just don't like that job. I don't feel like it's me. And I don't want to really do it anymore. You know, Paka's like, well, you know, I mean, we're adults. You have to work, right? <laughs> and then, you know, him saying, you know, you know we're adults, so we kind of have to do it. She's like, yeah, well, what about you? What about you? don't even have a job, Paka. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I'm still trying to figure it out. It's like, well, we have to pay the bills here. We, you know, live in this house. It's not free. It's like, there's so much better ways to deal with the money issues than just worrying about a job. He's like, no, there's not. It just kind of upsets her. And she's like, well, I'll definitely just show you then. Yeah, so she lost that argument with him. But, you know. She still had a point with him as well, of being like, well, you know, you don't even have a job. How, what are you talking to me about needing to have a job? Well, that made her sad. She feels a little hurt by that. And she's like, I know how to make money and save money and live well. I'm a free I I know how to make things work. She's like, you know what? Screw this. She's like, I'll just show him how it works. Like, I'm gonna quit my job. And then I'm gonna show him how I prosper here without being tied down to a job like that. And she's very happy about being freed from that commitment. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'll just bring home a bunch of stuff and show him how good it can be. <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! This is my dumpster. <laughs> Try to watch your back, Haley. <laughs> Ooh, she got a dirty double bed. Hmm. That seemed to run out of stuff real quick. Seems ridiculous. Um. Are there any more dumpsters out here? Yeah, see, she feels freed from the rat race, from quitting a career. <laughs> Maybe a little more difficult to get by without a salary, but you can't put a price on living in tune with your values. And that's how she feels about it. She's practicing her singing. How are you diving? There's nothing in there. 
All right, well, since that dumpster's tapped out, maybe we can try to find another one in town here. They might have some, or maybe this one. Okay, fresh dumpster. Oh, this one's empty. How? I don't care how dirty you are, keep doing it. You're in a dumpster. Oh, tropical rum respite. Cool. Go, no, go away. I'm very busy. Oh my gosh, a fridge. She's finding great stuff today. A desk. A coffee machine. Okay. Alright, I think it's actually empty now. Cool, alright. She's like, yeah, now I can really show him all these great finds I got. There's no way he can doubt that I don't have a good way to live. She's gonna come out here and be like, Hey, I got something to tell you about, because I've been out for the day collecting a lot of useful things. It's like, you're gonna see. <laughs> They're gonna be worth so much money. They're gonna be helpful. We don't have to worry about finding things. And he's like, hmm, okay. I'm listening. So... Oh yeah, we got these other things from our job, so we're just gonna put this bat right here, I guess. Is that bat okay? Alright. We'll put the bat, like, right here, I guess. I'm trying to not put it in the way. It's our dumpster diving tracking paper. <laughs> tracking the best spots. And then her duffel of cash that she keeps in there. Because she doesn't trust the banks, you know. She's like, hey, look, I found a coffee machine. I found this awesome fridge. She's like, I bet it's better than yours. And this cool desk. That's probably not savable, but she's just gonna put some of this in here and we're gonna see what she can do with it. That thing looks fine. It's like, I haven't got a piece of decoration. How do you feel about that? So yeah, he's coming back in, kind of being like, um, I'm sorry, where did all this crap come from? It's like, so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there he is. It's like, I'm sorry, why is there all this garbage in my place? <laughs> She's like, garbage? This stuff is great! She's like, yeah, some of it's dirty, but like, we could just clean it and sell it! Or keep some of it! You have no idea! He's like, uh-huh, okay, um... But, uh... <laughs> He's like, but you can't just pile it all in here! This It's all dirty from the dumpster and... It, stop! <laughs> Like, whatever, I'm going to bed. Okay, let's see, now he wants to start a career. And for some reason he wants to join the style influencer career. So, he's like, look, okay, I get it, I get it. You quit your job for some reason, and you have all this in here. I'll get a job, it's fine. It's fine, I got it. Okay. Style influencer. Okay, it's like, see, I have a job now. Does that make you feel better? She's like, not really, but okay. It's like, that wasn't really the reaction she was looking for, but she's like, all right, I mean, whatever, I guess. I'm gonna fix up this stuff so we can keep it. She's like, you'll see. <laughs> so this bed is actually not damaged. Which is shocking to me. Um, oh my god, this tree. Oh, it it's a very gross bed, though. Dirty double. Look at it. Ew. I actually didn't realize how gross it was <laughs> until now. It's okay. This bed is just for money. $25. These will sell for nothing. You could fix that, please, Haley. But yeah, he's like, okay, well, I'm going to bed. You do whatever you're doing. It's just 
like, get the garbage out of my place, please. It's like, it's not garbage, it's... <laughs> Alright, so she's gonna do her thing and fix up and clean up these. She's gonna keep the coffee maker, because they can use that. Look, we got a nice coffee maker now. It's... It looks nice, and I cleaned it. It works. The fridge wasn't even broken, which really surprised me. So, let's see. 778. Well, it's actually not better than this fridge. But she can still sell it. It's $2,400. That's more than he'll make in one day of working. You know? She's gonna pay to fix up all these other things. And then we'll sell it and see if it was worth the money. This desk is really cool though, I do like that. You know, I think she's just doing all that and she's never really done that around people who didn't also do that or who didn't encourage other people to. So she kind of doesn't understand the reaction. <laughs> She's like, what do you mean? There's nothing wrong with any of this stuff. This is how I've lived. She's like, that criminal career was like the first time I tried to work a job and I hated it. I know how to do this and it works. I know it does. So she just made me feel a little like surprised and not supported and things like that but we'll have to see if he comes around or if it just continues to bother him so that sold for the same amount it was to fix it I kind of like this little seat though I want to put it somewhere but I do want to keep this seat too because it actually matches with like the style of the house so I'm gonna say she's like well you know get rid of this old thing this sofa is worth so much more. It's smaller, but look, it's fancier and cuter. And then we can put this thing... I don't know, somewhere else. I don't really have a dining chair. So she's gonna be like, look! I sold the, the expensive chair, and now we have this one for the chess table. It's all working out just fine. So then we can see how he feels about that. He's like, I like it in here. Now it feels more like I live here too. Maybe she's trying to think of ways to sell this to Paka and really help him believe it without it being an issue. <laughs> she's like, oh, come on. He wants to woohoo with Haley, so... And he'd be like, hmm, well, actually, that coffee maker does look okay. It looks usable. All right. Maybe that's fine. He's like, the fridge is out of here at least. We don't need two of those. <laughs> He's hanging out in here. He's just kind of being like, hmm, where's the couch that I had? <laughs> He's like, how did she get the couch out of here when I didn't know? <laughs> But, like, mm, let me see if I like this one. Mm. God, he's just pranking another toilet. Even though he knows how angry that makes her when she is the victim of it. Okay, and then he's in here and kind of like, um... What the hell is this chair? <laughs> Who brought this in here? Oh, yellow. Mo no, Mortimer. <laughs> I think he's just trying to adjust. He doesn't uh, absolutely like it. He's like, I like this thing. This fits in with the house. But I liked my couch, too. He's using the sofa, so he can't hate it, I guess. Excuse me. Lothario, could you please not walk through my house? She's like, are you kidding me? This again? She's gonna be like, are you kidding me, man? Why would you do this to me again? She's 
like, what is wrong with you? Why would you do that? It's disgusting. And then he's starting a spreading a rumor. He's like, look, I'm trying to bring up a point to you about this, and you're just making jokes and laughing at me. Stop! You just don't care. <laughs> now he's lying about his career again. <sighs> he's like, God, you're a child. You just won't... Like, you're a child. Even after having some disagreement about that stuff a little bit more, they're still being flirty and nice to each other, so... Guess they're willing to deal with it. At least for now. But that's good. Maybe they will be able to work out. <laughs> Not like I'm trying to tear them apart. I just... <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. You know, I wasn't sure how it would go. Because I'm trying to leave up to them as much as I can. I prompt little things here and there, but I don't. I'm not trying to push one side or the other right now. Because I think it would be fun to have Paka be, like, the first partner in this whole legacy thing. So we could have some mermaid kids or, you know, things like that would be cool. But it's just like, okay, so you don't... Like, hate me for all this? You're not all mad about everything? <laughs> oh, he's like, no. It's like, I know, it's just... How you are. <laughs> I just, he's, I'm a little weird, too. She's <laughs> like, okay, well. Good to know. And now he's using a toilet that he pranked himself, so... I mean, he gets it himself just as much as she does, so I guess... You know... <laughs> he just can't stop for some reason. He has a weird problem. <laughs> he's like, ah, I gotta take a shower. <laughs> I just blew up the toilet on my own head. Excuse me. <laughs> She's like, okay. Okay, well he fixed the toilet, so that's great. Now he's taking a nap. On this nice piece of furniture she found. So, that's nice. He's showing that he can compromise too. Which is good. That's what she needed. He was like, alright, if you don't want to get a job, don't get a job. As long as you are making money and finding good things with what you're doing, then I'm willing to see what happens. But he did get a job himself, so he can help with that. She's like, all right, well, I guess I'll just go out and try to get some more good things then. <laughs> See if there's any more stuff in the dumpsters. <laughs> I should place those around in other pl uh, areas. To see if they get filled up more often or if it matters. Found a debug item in the dumpster. Interesting. Recycled things. Dumpster's empty, huh? I don't believe you. But okay. You're gonna ever go to the bar in town. Maybe there's a dumpster behind the bar. <laughs> the caboose. It's a guy's night. Great. <laughs> okay, she can't rummage in there. I don't think there's any dumpsters out here. No. Well, shoot. It's like, okay, uh huh, yeah, that's great. Okay, I, I'm busy doing stuff. Alright, who are all these people? Well, Bob Pancakes is here. Alright. Otherwise, nothing too exciting. I think I am going to bring Paka here. Ooh, he's very tired. Okay, well, sorry. I didn't realize you were so tired. Why don't you get your favorite drink, Paka? We'll see what that is. 
It's like, yeah, this is the town I come to to do all my, like, dumpster diving and finding cool things. It's pretty nice. Hey, there's her drink. I don't think he's ever going to get one. And he's like, dude, I'm so tired. I really need to go home. Okay, why don't you just go home, Paka? You're too tired. She's like, it's fine. I'll see you later. You been? Yishla Henbei? Uh -huh. Oh, oh Guess I'll just go home. All right, she didn't find uh too much. I think she only really found one item this time, but sometimes the dumpsters are more empty, you know. Was that music player? Looks like one. I mean, it was worth a thousand dollars, so I'm just gonna sell it. That works for me. Okay, well, they seem to be handling each other pretty well, so seems like a good sign for their future. <laughs> I think I'll have her just kind of fish outside the house today. I know it's a little windy, but she'll be all right. Oh, hello, Andy. She's like, I swear I had something. Where'd it go? Okay. And you got one of these collectibles. We'll go ahead and sell that. Okay, pay the bills. Good job. She did catch one fish. Which I'm not gonna sell. Well, I am gonna sell because I can't put it in the fridge. <laughs> I guess you can't eat that kind of fish. All right, throw away whatever whatever's in the grill out there. Ooh, they voted for free love in this neighborhood. Cool. It's like, how was your first day of work? I spent my day fishing. I guess they can't do that while sitting down. He's apologizing for the big arguments they had a few days ago. He's like, I know, I've got problems. Everybody does. She's like, ah, I know, it's fine. We're doing fine. Okay, <laughs> well... I think their relationship is gonna do just fine, at least as far as I can tell now. So, they're <laughs> good. Trying to make up the relationship just a little bit right now. He wants to have some drinks at a bar and be mischievous. Maybe we can. She's gonna make some tofu tacos. Okay. That sounds great. Baka is coming to get some coffee. He's like, well, he cleaned it all up and fixed it. Might as well use it, right? <laughs> Oh yeah, her cooking skill is not very good. <laughs> the fact that she's trying to make a whole family meal really is something. Yeah, they're excellent quality. It did good. That's nice. She's complaining about the dish. You cooked it, Haley. Okay, well he's off to work again. Alright, bye. <laughs> Mortimer. Fine, just because I have nothing better to do today, I'll go to GeekCon with you. It's so weird, because it's like every time they interact, he seems to like dislike everything they do, but he keeps calling to hang out with her and like visiting. Like, what do you want, Mortimer? What do you really want from me? <laughs> okay, she's gonna go get a drink. <laughs> it's like, I know we came to, like, GeekCon, but I need to get a drink. Thaddeus. Wow, what a name. Thaddeus Shackleford. <laughs> What's up, bud? How you doing? It's a poor quality drink, but, you know, it's a drink. 
Yeah. She's <laughs> like, oh, God, that had to be his first day. Oh, jeez. This is awful, but... It's... <laughs> It's like, God, why am I even here? Mortimer Goth asked me to come out here, and I'm drinking his crappy drink. Nobody else is here. Uh, Santa's building a rocket. Nancy Landgrab is here. So is Jeffrey. Clara. Then some other people. Okay. She's like, well, this isn't really my scene, but... Oh! Baka? <laughs> oh my god! So, so Paka uh, called Haley and said, So I found a ring in Haley's, your bag. I think she's going to propose to me. I don't know what to do. What should I say? Yes? No? <laughs> now, if I say, say yes, they will immediately get engaged over the phone. I think I'm going to say you should really decide for yourself because that's kind of part of what I'm trying to do with this series, so. Decide for yourself. It's like, if you don't want to get engaged, don't get engaged to me. But they're not engaged, so I guess he doesn't really want to do it. Right now, at least. You can participate in the hackathon. I don't think you have the skills to do well in it, but... You can try. Because that's where Goth is here, so... I really wanted to say yes to that, but... I also kind of wanted them to do it themselves. Oh, Penny Pizzazz won. Alright. Oh, she likes programming, though. Okay. Sure. She just doesn't feel like doing this contest. So I wonder if Haley's kind of thinking now, like, well... I told him to decide what he wanted to do with getting engaged to me, and he just kind of said, I don't want to. So I don't know. I think they're doing all right with their relationship right now, but maybe it's not going to be her forever relationship, you know? We'll have to see. Most people usually date more than one person their whole life, so <laughs> we'll have to just see how it goes. Time or are you off work? Oh, okay. I know. Hey, you got a promotion. That's great. Take care of yourself, all right? Yeah, she's already going in to get a drink again, so... I'm gonna say she invited Paka out here as well. Come on in, my dude. Join your girlfriend here for a drink. I feel like she's gonna be thinking, have been thinking too much about that call all day, so she's gonna kind of be like, Did you only call me because, like, you, you were trying to propose to me and I blew it? Or, like, do you actually want to do that at some point? Or is that something you never want to do? She's like, I don't know what it is. He's like, I, I don't know, I'm... I haven't really thought about it that much. And he's like, oh man, I'm s I didn't mean to make you stress out all day, I'm sorry. He's like, oh yeah, stressed, I haven't been stressed at all. I this is fine, I'm just drinking a little bit. So they're having some deep talks about it so they can clear it up. I mean, like, I look, I it's fine, don't worry too much about it. <laughs> They're both still young adults. Pretty young still, and everything's fine. They're doing fine right now. She's like, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. You know what? After having that drink, I'm feeling real good. I'm just gonna go ahead and head up here real quick. <laughs> Her singing is really high. She sounds good. <laughs> She does sound really good. Oh, she barely even did anything. She got 64 points. Okay. I wanted her to really sing that. 
She got too uncomfortable. Dang it. She's an angry drunk tonight. Oh no. Oh, but she is flirting with him. It's like, I, I think... I think Haley does have a little bit of a drinking problem that should be addressed as well. Because Paka has had one the whole time we've ever been in a bar area. Haley usually has like three or four every time she goes to one, which has been several times. And she's like, you're really great, Paka. I don't think I deserve you. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> okay, I don't he is a flirty drunk. <laughs> okay. She's all angry and he's all flirty. <laughs> it's like, I think we should go home because we're both not feeling great. Let's just go. She's like, fine. <laughs> They're both really dazed. <laughs> both a little drunk in different ways. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna get some coffee. No. No, I'm gonna go to bed, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Paco's like, I'm gonna get some coffee. <laughs> That'll help me. He's like, man, that one drink really hit me. <laughs> I do really like the nails on him. Might be a change I make for him permanently. I kind of like that. Okay, go to the bathroom. I know you're not feeling great, but... Haley's sleeping it off. I think you should too. Sleep it off. You guys will be fine. Let's do it again. He had fun. Get drunk. So does she. Alright. He's still sobering up. <laughs> well, she's good because she's used to the drinking. He, he had one and he's still trying to recover. <laughs> like, Paka. He's <laughs> like, oh, I know what'll help him. I'm gonna go sing to him. Yeah, it's, it's helping him feel better. He's like, oh, oh. <laughs> while well, this is going on and while Paka gets ready for work, um... This is where I'm going to end this part of this. Uh, these two seem like they're going to do all right together. And uh, at least for now, any further and future plans might still be up in the air a little bit, but they're holding together better than, than maybe I was thinking might happen. So... Uh, in the next part, we'll just keep following them and seeing how well it develops, see if anything major happens in the next part, and see where their story goes. So if you want to see more of that for me or any other videos that I upload, you can subscribe. I try to upload three days a week, and if you like this video or have liked the series, you can let me know down below with a comment or a like on the video. And um, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.